can cancel our radius to become cube. So our torque is equal to uh, 14.272 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by pi over 2 and then multiply by radius cube is 0 0.15 cube. So this is 14.272 to the power 3 times by shift pi to the power 2 times by 0.15 power 3 is equal to Wait, this is radius, 0 0.15 divided by 2, pardon me. So 0 0.15 divided by 2, power 3, times by shift pi divided by 2, 14.272 power 3, is equal to 9.458. Uh, 9 uh, pound inch. I get 9.458. Is there something missing that I'm doing divided by 2, power 3, hold on. Times by shift pi divided by 2, times by 14.272 power 3. Yeah, 9.458 pound inch. Yes. Say it again. Ah. Thank you. Sleeping, sleeping. I mean, me, not you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep, 9.457 or 458 times okay. 10 3 PSI. So this is by using uh, from Mises. Okay, now I want to do let's let's carry on with our uh, tresca okay let's 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 do this with tresca criteria okay so we look into tresca criteria everything is still the same okay we are now going to apply a uh, different criteria okay so we are going to apply now tresca which is maximum shear criteria. And Tresca criteria is the maximum shear, right, is equal to shear yield divided by two, right? And then this is equal to 42 times 10 to about three, divided by 2, and this is equal to 21 times 10 to the power 3 PSI. So what this value means, this has to be the uh, largest radius in 3D mole circle. So if, if, if again, I'm going to copy our 3D mole circle, which we have constructed. I'm going to paste again. Right. So it is the biggest radius that we have based on 3D mole circle. That, that's why constructing 3D mole circle is about. Right, and then we also found out that stress A and stress B are not equal to zero, so we have to apply that tau max is equal to half, right? Stress A minus stress B, absolute value. So we also know that stress A, so if you look at stress A minus stress B is equal to stress average, right? So our stress A is still like the same as before, uh, plus by okay, plus by the radius or tau max, or okay, I'll call it radius down here. Minus 
by stress A minus by radius, right? So this corresponds to our stress A. This corresponds to our stress B. So stress A minus stress B is equal to uh, 2R, right? So we know that our tau max, right? Our tau max is equal to uh, 21. Or, or, or yeah, our, our, our tau max is equal to 31 times 10 to power 3, right? And this will be equal to twice your radius divided by 2. So it's equal to your radius, okay, to your r. Okay. So now we have to find out how to determine our uh, r again. Okay. So the radius, right? so the, the, the r that we are going to use is also equal to our, uh, wait, yeah, now we have to determine our r. Let me carry on on the next page. Let me copy this first. So now, again, we have to determine our uh, radius. So what we know, let, let me get the mole circle over. Uh, yeah, this is not so good, but. me okay right so again we know that from here to here right this is 21 times 10 to power 3 and we also know we also know because the stress average did not change right we also know that the distance from here to here right is equal to 16.977 right so from here we can find what is our height over here We can determine again the same thing out here as well. Right? So from this expression over here, right? This is from our uh, Tresca criteria. And we know that R is equal to the maximum shear stress. Okay. For this case, is 21 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, so Tresca criteria is more straightforward for sure. So from here, we can determine our shear xy is equal to 21 times 10 to the power 3 squared. Okay. Minus by 16.977, right, times 10 to power 3 squared. So 21 power 3 squared minus 16.977 power 3 squared. So it's 12.36. Okay. Twelve point three six psi. Or times, yeah, 12.36 times 10 to power 3. So from here, the torque in the Y or the torque, okay, it's equal to 12.36 times 10 to the power 3 
pi over 2, uh, 1.5 divided by 2 power of 3. So from here, 1.5 divided by 2 power of 3, time to achieve pi divided by 2, time to 12.36 power of 3. It's got 8.19 times 10 to power 3 uh, pound inch. Okay. So one is 8.19, and the other one is what? The other one that we calculated based on for Mises is 9.458. So from here, you can identify that Tresca is more what? Conservative. Okay. But there's another stage in uh, in in, uh, in Tresca, okay. So for Tresca, in general, we have to check the stress A and stress B must be less than forty two psi or ksi. And this is straightforward to check, okay. This is straightforward to check. So you just calculate what is your stress A and B. So we know that our stress average is 16.977 okay. plus minus of 21 times or times 10 to the power of 3 plus minus by 21 times 10 to the power of 3. So this will get you 16.977. So it's minus 37.977 times 10 to the power 3 PSI and 16.9 and minus 16.9 4.03 positive. Okay. So both of them both are less than plus minus 42 times 10 to power 3 PSI. I, I, I think this is, I mean, the checking is good. It's not compulsory, but okay, let's check, okay? Most important thing that you see today is uh, Tresca is more conservative. Why? Because with Tresca, it is what? 8.19, right? For Vormesis is 9.458, 9.458 times 10 to about 3 pound inch for Vormesis. Okay. So what is the standard practice? Okay, so this is based on research I've done. Okay. We usually use Vormesis to Calculate talk. Okay. It's less conservative. Okay, usually. Okay, so that is that is the normal industrial practice. Okay. Now uh I I I I I will tell you straight, okay, where I got a bit like not confused. I I I, I need to think a bit is when there are two stages okay and i want you all to be if, if i get confused okay i'm normal like you guys you also will get confused the confusing part is when you come to here when you come to here so for over here the radius right that we determine right for for Mises is stress yield squared minus stress average squared divided by three when we come to Tresca, right? That's where I was a, a bit starter. The R over here is your what? Material property. You can see that, right? The other one, right? You still have to compute R based on what? Based on your material property and your what? 
fabric stress. Okay, that's where I, I, I sit down like, why is this not the same like uh, von Mises relative to stress? That's the only part that I got confused. That's why I was started. Uh, I was, yeah, embarrassing moment, but I declare I was embarrassed anyway. Okay, I'm going to stop here tomorrow, not tomorrow, Friday and Monday. We have three hours. We are going to do buckling. Okay, buckling is an important topic. I'll see you guys then.